Welcome to KSP 1.2, in which we have introduced communications networks. <coughs> I can't give up the whole video. Vessels will now need to communicate with Kerbin in order to let you control probes and send back science. To communicate, the vessel needs an antenna. There are many different kinds, all with different capabilities. All probes and command pods even have a small built-in one. Aww. The purpose of the communications network is to allow you to control your vessels. To do this, they need to have a clear signal to a control point. There are two kinds of control points in KSP, the tracking station on Kerbin, or another vessel that has a pilot and the right equipment to operate as a control point. However, it ain't that simple. You need to take into account signal strength. Signal strength is a measurement of the communication between two antennas based on their power level. Stronger antennas, or antennas that are closer, will have a better signal strength. The maximum distance between two antennas is equal to the square root of the product of their respective power ratings. For example, an antenna with a 5k rating, or 1000 rating, could communicate with an antenna with a 5 billion rating, or a 5g rating. Up to 5 million away, or 5m away. M meters. 5m meters. 5mm away. Yes. Sometimes, however, we are unable to get to our control point either due to extreme range or because something is in the way. Enter relays. Relay antennas allow a signal to be bounced from a vessel to a relay and then onto a control point or even another relay. Dear God. This allows weaker antennas to transmit over longer distances via a high power relay or allows a signal to get around objects that would otherwise block it. <clears throat> Levels of control. It happens. The Kraken has just wiped out your entire communications network. But never fear, just because you lose signal does not mean that you're completely locked out. Probes without connection can still use autopilot settings, full throttle, cut throttle, the part action window, staging, and action groups. Probes without connection or crewed vessels without either a connection or a pilot will be unable to add, edit, or delete maneuver nodes either. But don't worry, crewed vessels with pilots or EVA cables are always considered to be in full control. As always, probes without power or pods without their required crew are uncontrollable. Communications Network Interface! In the flight view, you can get quick information on your comnet connection via in-flight GUI. You got your control state, signal strength, first stop, direction, and, you know, last stop. And in the map view, you can quickly see not only the signal path you are taking, but also the relative signal strength of each segment on the path. And this display can be toggled to show no paths, first stop only, your entire path, all potential first stops, or the entire communications network! If you can handle that, that is. In the editor, communications antennas are found in the science section, where an examination of their properties can show things like transmission rates, antenna power, and whether or not they can be used as relays. Probe cores and capsules also show information on their built-in transmission and whether they can serve as a remote control point as well. Now, when it comes to transmitting science, there is a buff to transmissions for those who not only use appropriate antennas, but also use relays to increase signal strength for the entire communications path back to Kerbin. However, the best way to get the most science is still to recover the experiment as before. But speaking of recovering science, you can now store experiments using the new experiment storage container. So now probes can store experiments, which is nice. Now I know what you're thinking. Matt, you godlike charismatic champion, in what scenario would I actually be able to get full levels of control? Well, I'm glad you asked, random viewer. The tracking center, as well as all antennas, can be divided into a series of classes, each with a specific power level. You have class 0, which is a range of 5,000 and built into all vessels, and then class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, and class 5, each with differing power levels respectively. Do you understand now? No? Alright, let's just go, go into it a bit more detail, right? So basically, in order to cover the entire Kerbin SOI, so that's your Kerbin, Minmus, and Mun, you would need a level 1 tracking centre, or a pair of 5G antennas. A pair of 50G antennas could cover the distance from Kerbin to Juna or E, which corresponds to a level 2 tracking centre. A pair of 100G antennas could cover the distance from Kerbin to Jewel and sometimes even Elu. This would correspond to a level 3 tracking centre. Or to put it even more simply, here's an on-screen table showing the effective range of different classes. So let's see, what else is there? Oh yeah, there's Kerbnet, which uh, allows the player to see terrain under their satellite and place custom waypoints with a targeting interface. And you can also see biomes and anomalies at higher levels. Uh, scan resolution for Kerbnet varies by part and smoothly changes between service altitude and orbital altitude. So there's that. Oh yes, and the old F12 menu has been completely overhauled, so now things like Hyperedit are integrated into the game, there's a Kerbal creator, the cheats menu is is there, I guess. And Wacker Kerbal has been renamed to the much less cool object thrower. So I will not personally be moving to this update for this reason and this reason alone. Oh yes, lastly, uh, probes and things can be set to hibernate when they're in space as well. So yes, there's that. Hey my friends, thank you for watching this 1.2 update. We've covered everything. Oh yeah, you can also see like uh, fuel flow in the space plane hangar and vehicle assembly building now if you toggle it in advanced tweakables, which is um, uh, which is a feature, I guess. It's cool, yeah. Oh, and I guess there's kind of a new green glowy thing around around the parts. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of reskins as well. 
So thank you for watching, and as always, pilot cautiously.